Dan, 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 tell me, what's a warrior queen got to do to meet someone like you? <coughs> Don't be shy, baby. I've seen you giving me the eye. You may be weak and feeble like all men, but I like you, Daniel. <coughs> Oh, I love a man who doesn't talk back. I think if you return, I may take you for my husband. <laughs> now listen up, sugar. Your bow and arrows are fine for itty bitty jobs, but if you want to pack some serious heat, you should take this spear. <laughs> think of me when you throw it. Kind sir, I am the pumpkin witch. I'm like a mother to those pumpkins. I give them all the love and care a young fruit could ever ask for. From the moment they first push a shoot above the soil, right up until their heads are cut off and eaten. And look, see how they repay me, running around and causing mischief. That nasty old big pumpkin has a bad influence on the young seedlings. If you teach him a lesson in manners, I might give you a nice present.
a most edifying spectacle, sir. Man and vegetable in a magnificent duel to the death. Oh, I've come over all of a doodar. Here, have this lovely dragon gem as your reward. Oh, lovely majestic creatures dragons are. <laughs> Look at you running around in your bones, Fortescue. You're so nouveau dead. <coughs> I, Ravenhooves, last prince of the centaurs, have not galloped the earth in over 10,000 years. <coughs> Do yourself a favor, Fortescue. Take my longbow, more powerful than a crossbow. The option of flaming arrows? It is truly the weapon of noblemen. Congratulations! You don't quite have my breeding, Mr. Johnny come lately, but there's hope for you yet. Villagers, the master possesses them. It mustn't hurt them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power.
Hurry, comrades, tear this place apart. If we don't find the Shadow Artifact, Lord Zarak will have us mocking out the demons for the next millennium. Stop! Thank <laughs> you. 